All right, so we've looked at the uh, the path array and what comes out of it. We have our base. Uh, we have our, our full call here in UTF-8 format and the call exactly the way it was put in and then our call parts, which I said this is the uh, most important part. Now I want to show you another part and uh, this is helpful and at the same time we can still continue to use the get array uh, if we need to get to this information but it shows the uh, query which uh, query would be the um, anything after this doing the uh, question mark and then something so we could do something like uh, ID equals something so now if we open up our debug panel now we see the full query in UTF-8 format query exactly the way it was written then our query variables or it's kind of like the call part so ID and there you go so if we don't want to use the get array we can go ahead and use this uh, path array um, but uh, more than likely we're going to end up using git because of its accessibility but uh, we'll, we'll uh, look at this later what's important right now is call parts so let's do something with this information so what we're going to need is the uh, the slug for each one of these pages and the slug is what's going to pull the correct page content so let's look at uh, so we need to send this to uh, the data page function and this is going to look for the page ID which is going to be the slug so all we need to do is change this to path and then we're going to access the uh, kind of subarray within the array which is called call parts and then we're going to want the zero key in the case of home zero key is going to be the page and we're going to follow this format um, where the first part after the URL is always going to be a page name and then anything after it would be considered uh, we'll just call that sub content so we need to make sure that the slug here gets put in properly so let's save this and uh, we got some more work to do here, but let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, our result is. So if we go to atomcms slash home, well, we should get the same thing, so that's not a good test. Let's try about us. So if we look at the slug, it's uh, about dash us. So about dash us. There you go. That's pretty cool. So we need to first come in here to uh, set up and we need to address what happens if nothing is sent so rather than check if get page is set we need to check and see if that uh, path call part zero is set so if path call parts and then the zero key. Oops, screwed that up. There we go. And then the zero key. So if that is set, uh, but we also want to check to make sure that uh, it isn't set to nothing. In fact, let's go ahead and change this to not set. So put the exclamation point here before is set so now we're checking if it isn't set and we're gonna do or which is a double pipe key or two pipes and uh, we're gonna check to see if it's empty so path call parts zero is equal to an empty string and uh, instead of setting the page ID, we're going to go ahead and set call part zero. So again here, path call parts, and then the zero key. And we're uh, actually going to be doing what's done in the else here. We're going to change this to be 
our default page, which is home. And uh, we'll change our comment here too. And uh, now we can take out this else statement. And we should be good to go here. So we'll go ahead and save this. And uh, let's go ahead and get rid of about us and hit enter.